Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I'm playing Star Maid, and I am on board an E608 Emperor class battleship. It's the one I'm working on. I love that, uh, that view there. At least the one I'm working on, on and off. Uh, let's see. This is the bridge. I'm... I really need to rip out all the power and redo it because there have been some changes and probably will be some more when integrity changes kick in. Here's the bridge. I have a bunch of uh, chairs with uh, with uh, display blocks that don't actually display much. Let's see, this one is showing uh, the speed, the name of the ship, and the sector. I think one over there did about the same. I've always liked the... Uh, you know, when the Empire Strikes Back, or starter, uh, yeah, well, any Star Destroyer bridge, they hit these lower sections and these raised portions. I, I always liked that design. So I tried to mimic that a little here. And no data on these display modules quite yet. So the commander, captain, probably captain, sits at his chair here. And mans the, the ship and pilots and all that good stuff. A nice area to walk around. All right, so let's actually uh, plane back wall. I'm still working on on and off decorate. I haven't worked on it in a little bit, but here's the outside. I I need some greebling or something more decorative up here. Uh, there's the bridge, just a plain bridge. It took me forever to wedge it in the window. I do like my uh, my little radio tower I set up. I do like that. Let me brag. Uh, let's turn off our hood so you can see that. I was also working with engines and all that. This is mostly a get back in the swing of things, experiment with uh, design, interior, and exterior. It's not complete, probably never be complete. In fact, I haven't worked on it in a, in a little while, but this is so far as the biggest. Power 2.0 ship I have I have completed. I have this huge turret in the back. It's a missile cannon. So a uh, bunch of missiles uh, with the cannon sleeves. It's a rapid fire missile. Just playing with greebling and connections. I know that's a big flat plane spot I need to fix up. Tested out these pipes there. I think that's the same pipe I used on my cutter. Playing with lighting, and these little, I guess, air intakes. There's no air in space. Space intakes. Radiators, maybe. I, I really like the way these engines turned out. I know it's not the prettiest design, but I like the way it turned out. Playing with pipes here and slabs and all that good stuff. Uh, the docks, I don't think you actually dock much of anything to it, but it's mostly designed for docking to stations. If station power actually worked, or station docking worked the way I think it should. Let's see. And I did sort of this uh, this bit here, you know, the, the plates like I did on my, my cube station. I'm just trying that out, see if I liked it. I'll probably do some more up top here so it doesn't look so plain and flat. Tried another little bit there. Not many windows. I think there are those three windows plus... The bridge and the two on the sides of the bridge. I think those are the only windows as such as I have on this ship. And it sort of ended up kind of hunched looking. Like the uh, front end comes, comes way down. I originally thought I would make the engines level with it, but I didn't. A single hangar that has a little shuttle in it. That doesn't work quite right. And this thingy here with the... A dock so I can haul stuff, or but haven't fully worked out exactly what I'm going to do with that. Yeah, so there's the exterior. We'll talk about some of its general stats, so you probably go back into build mode. And let's see, there are 336,590 blocks on it. A mass of 48,393.398. An old power... This ship would have been much heavier than that because of all the other stuff, jump drives and whatnot, it would have needed. Mass cargo, there's no cargo on it. Total mass is 
uh, 48 1817.199 because it has elevators and uh, turrets and things like that. Uh, escape pods. Uh, no name. Well, it has a name. It's 19 whatever. It has a million structure or reactor points, 8 million armor points, 8.7 million armor points, and all systems are fine. Uh, let's see. Reactor, there are 8,399 reactor blocks with 5, 56,571 stabilizer blocks. You might be asking, why so many stabilizing blocks? That's because I built this before the, um, you know, the directional stabilizers. It's because I built it with the reactors in the middle, right around here-ish. Actually, let's see. Yep, the main reactor right there, actually the only reactor right there. And let's grab a reactor, because that's probably a stabilizer block. The reactors were already in my hot bar, and I got rid of the stabilizers. Yeah, that's the, the reactor, and up here is all stabilizers, and back here, with this engine -y portion, are mostly stabilizers. So let's see if we can't take a look at that. And I was just just barely stable like this. Stabilization was at 90 some odd percent. Just barely. Then when I uh, then the update hit that did the directional stabilization bonuses. And so that did uh, wonders for me. Yeah, all this right here is stabilizer. Yeah, all this stabilizers big. Uh, I just had this empty space for weapons, waiting for weapons update, but I threw on some cannons and missiles on it, just so it have weapons. Left all this empty space for weapons, or whatever else I needed. In the past, all this probably would have been filled with jump drives. But there is the a module. I'm going to rip all these chambers out, because I don't like them. I don't like the way this ship's set up, now that I have a little more experience. Now here's the main reactor. Now that I have more experience, I have... Let's see what that set up. Not the shield information. Go away. Go away. No one loves you. Uh, I have it set up for scanner strength of 2, jump drive efficiency and auto charge, the shield enhancement, and transport outage reduction. I'll probably drop the, the uh, short-range scanner modules and the outage reduction. And instead, up the shield to, uh, let's see, show the full tree. The shield to, uh, where is it? Outage Redux. I'll probably max out Outage Redux instead of, instead of uh, maxing out Scanner Strength and doing the uh, level of uh, Transport Shield Reduction. Maybe even take out... No, no, I want the jump efficiency. And I might even have room up here to set up a secondary reactor. Uh, I'm going to play with that and probably do a video on that later. But, yeah. I'm not real happy with the way the modules... Well, this was fresh. This was the power wasn't out long, and this was a side project I was just working on. Never intended to show it on, on camera, but I am now. And then I had all these weird setups for running um, chamber Uzuma watchets down. And back this way is mostly reactors and more stabilizers. So I had stabilizers in the back, basically from here to here. That's all stabilizers. All of this. Stabilizers and reactors. Or reactors. Thrusters. And all the front stabilizers, so I had this chunk of reactor in the middle. And then the multi-directional update came, so it cut down drastically on the amount of stabilization. I needed to hit 100, because it gave me the bonuses for having on either side. So I have way, way, way too many stabilizers on this ship. I probably, um, when I come to fix the power and fix up the power, I'll probably chop off some of the stabilizers in the back here. So I would like extra in the front in case they get damaged. Let's see. 
Uh, let's see, da, 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 two stabilizer groups, 33,808 chamber blocks. I want to wipe all those out and start again with the chambers and the conduits. Integrity is okay, it's 13,037 for reactor integrity. Recharge is 4,000 a second. Consumption, they can't be right, I'm going to be able to run at that. It is 4,000. Why is my consumption 4,448 a second? Is it my stable stabilization point one? What? This should be this should be a better. Uh, let's do the main menu. Let's clear the cache because it should have way more stabilization than that. Clear the cache. See your last play. I probably messed something up fooling with the... There you go, 100% stabilization. I wonder what that was like. With the buffer, I have 328.9% stabilization, actually. So I can get rid of like 300 or 200% of my... No, no. Get rid of like a third of my reactors. There we go. Our stabilizers and still be fully stabilized. Reactor HP... There we go, I'm consuming 271,000, I'm producing 8, 839.9 thousand, which is a bit overkill, but there ain't no kill like overkill. So I can do, I can run my shields and jump and all that good stuff. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Equality, equally big groups, uh, without bonus. Stabilization without bonus, with bonus, okay. And it's fairly stable. So let's pull these down and look at thrusters. There are 51,496 thruster blocks in the ship. A thrust of uh, 80,000, almost 81,000. Max speed 161.8. Probably the fastest large ship I've ever created. With a 1.7 mass to thrust. Thrust to mass, whatever. That turning speed and the integrity and all that. Integrity for these large ships is easy, it's the little ones that are a problem. I have... One active shield, four inactive. That's probably because one of my templates had a... A, um... A, uh, Decorative shield block in it somewhere I need to hunt down. The shields. There we go, yeah. Apparently I have some sort of decorative shield blocking going in on this section here that I need to hunt down and destroy. Was it... No, that's a capacitor. Ah, okay. Anyway, there's some sort of something going on there that I need to fix. But the primary shield block is 7 million capacity with the 201,000... Recharge. Uh, three capacity banks, but a lot of that is from decorative templates I need to get rid of. And it's consuming 221,000 energy per second just to run the shields. That is the faction. I wanted docks. Docks are 14 docks, 12 turrets, 26 docked to, uh, other docked entities with a 38, a total of 38 docked entities. Uh, and that includes these, what is that, 5, 10, 10 AMS turrets, my two large cannons, there are, these are some escape pods, so that's five escape pods, a shuttle, at least two elevators, there's an escape pod, and there's another escape pod right here. So those are the docked entities it's talking about. Uh, plus the uh, door controls for the airlocks. I used docked logic for that. And yeah, so that is the exterior of this thing. We'll start going through the inside next time. This is just a faceplate. I have a, a camera up there. And mostly this was me playing, learning the new power system 
getting back into the swing of building ships because it's been a long time. And experimenting with some textures and whatnot. I think it turned out as a decent ship. I'm not real happy with the weird arch it has, but overall I, I like this ship. I'm calling it a battleship, but who knows what it's actually going to end up being. Right now it's an Emperor-class battleship, but it'll change in the future. Anywho, uh, that was not the button I wanted to press. There we go. I have been JW608. This has been StarMade, and let me line up so I can get a decent shot, maybe for a screenshot or something. Or screenshot, thumbnail. I'll probably forget that I did this and just pull a different one. Anywho, I've been JW608. This has been StarMade. I'll take you cats later.